Oops, sorry for the wiggles, y'all. Hey. Um, I asked if you guys wanted to see it done in the microwave or the oven, but you know what? <laughs> I decided I was going to do both, okay? So, I have two, I'm thirsty, sorry. I forgot I was going to drink some lemon water. So I got the lemon and the water set, but forgot to squeeze it in. Man, okay, two cakes. And I love lemon water. Do you like lemon water? Tell me, tell me. Okay, two cakes. I'm ready now. So, I don't know if I have any professional bakers in this party or not, but I am not one. I am not. I cheat. This is how I bake. And this is for those who are like me and sometimes you just want something sweet to eat without, um, you know, huge recipe with sifting and I don't know. I am not a baker. I have friends who are. And... That is amazing. This is for those of us who just want really quick cakes or if you just want to have a cheat day. Okay, so cake mix in. I need eggs. Y'all, we have chickens. So you need to crack your eggs into something different to make sure that the eggs are good. One. this from? Tell me. Hello. Three. So far so good. Three more than the other one, guys. One. shells in here and then when they dry out I just crunch it down with the silicone sides and then it goes in my compost or back to my chins. There's a fun tip for you. Okay now what am I doing? Hey you know what I'm just following the box directions. It says a cup of water. Here's the deal. I'm going to show you how to do something else. Instead of water grab your measuring cup. This is the one cup measuring cup. Use the pineapple juice. Usually there's just about a cup. So this is three-fourths of water in this one. So I am going to put in a little bit more water. Okay, so that makes a cup. And same, same for this one. Pineapple juice. Let's see how much is in this one. Three fourths a cup in this one too. Add a little bit more water to it. Good to go. One cup of water. It also says three, a third a cup of vegetable oil. I'm using avocado oil. You can use whatever you want. I don't care. You can use canola oil, vegetable oil. The cool thing about our measuring cups is that you can see how much is in there without doing squats. To do that, I'll show you. So you can stand it straight up and see the measuring. See that? Cool, right? All right. Did I get everything in there? I did. Time to whisk it up. Um, I'm going to use this. All right, here we go. Battery. Here we go. Watch, huh?
better than doing it by hand. Okay, I'm gonna set this off to the side. I'm gonna get the other one blended. out that we're gonna do this and this is our everyday rock crack everyday pan and this is my saute pan um, and the steamer I'm gonna take the steamer out not gonna need that and honestly I'm not gonna use the handle on it right now because I'm gonna be putting it into the oven with this anyhow I am gonna leave the silicone handle on there so I can touch actually I'll take it off for now and it occurs to me that I did not get my butter out. So, oven on for my sauce, my uh, steamer and saucepan, and oven on for my rock crop. You do not have to have a gas stove, you can use electric or glass, doesn't matter. Okay, you need a fourth of a cup of butter. Where's my knife? Okay, fourth of a cup of butter. So take your butter and cut it just in half and half it a fourth. So we're melting that in one half. Sorry about that, I have a phone call coming in. I'm gonna melt this in the other half. While that is happening, friends, grab your brown sugar out, okay? Now you need a third of a cup in each one. While the butter's melting, do you know how to make your own brown sugar? I'm gonna show you. Not because I need it, but because I like giving helpful tips and not everybody wants to run to the store when they run out of stuff. So grab your molasses. Now, if you don't have molasses, then you, <laughs> then you really are out of luck. I'm just saying. Sorry. All right. And I use the two bigger bowls for my batter. I'm going to use the baby bowl for the, for the sugar. And I'm going to grab my big old tub of sugar. I don't use it very often. So I don't keep it out on the counter. Shout out to my Tupperware homies because this thing is massive. Man, sugar lasts me a really long time. I'm just gonna put one scoop of sugar in there because I will show you how this works with the brown sugar while the butter is heating up and melting and getting all yummy. All right, grab you a fork. And all brown sugar is, is, you can see it in that there, I'll bring it closer, is um, 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 um sugar and molasses. So if you need dark brown sugar, add more molasses. If you need light brown sugar, a little molasses will do. So I'm gonna bring this closer to you. I'm gonna show you it come together. So use a fork and you're just going to kind of mix it in and smash your fork against the sides, like so. Now if you want to get it all mixed in, you totally can, but there's your brown sugar, y'all. Easy peasy. You know what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this homemade stuff instead of the store-bought stuff. Why not? Why not? Can you tell me? Have you ever had pineapple upside down cake before? Do you even like pineapple upside down cake? You know what? Raise your hand if you have molasses in your cupboard. This is going to go fast, you guys. 
So grab your sauce whisk as your butter melts because you are really going to want to uh, be on it when it's ready. I'm grinding my third of a cup for my sugar and oh, you know what else I was going to do? I was going to use my five inch um, skillet and make a baby one in my air fryer. Because my oven's warming up, that's warming up, so I'm just going to leave that melt like that. Actually, I might put up my baby butter right there. Change my mind. It happens. Okay, you ready? You ready, you ready? We are gonna be making the caramel. So, third of a cup of sugar in there, third of a cup of sugar in there. This is melting down nicely, but it's not ready yet. So, get your cookware and our rock crocs. Hold heat really, really well. So, what you're going to want to do is get it bubbly like so. This needs to get a little bit more bubbly. Can you see both? You guys don't know it yet, but you're still going to have like three desserts in less than 30 minutes. And you can pick which one you want to do. Okay, so that's going, that's going. Just bring a little bit of brown sugar in there. It's going to make my, my caramel bubbly stuff in here too. Okay, this is acting all nice and bubbly, so I'm going to turn this one off. Okay, this one's still coming up. The heat conducts really well in this, which is good because I do not want stuff to burn. So it looks like it's going to be perfect for me to do one at a time. So the rock crock, obviously, this can be going into the oven too, but it is going to go in the microwave. I'm going to show you the microwave option with the rock crock. Put your pineapple rings. Um, I'm moving this off of where the, the heat was to stop the process of it being so hot. It conducts really, really well. Okay, so there's that. And then one in the middle. One in the middle. Okay, maraschino cherries. This is a plastic jar, I didn't even know it was. Woohoo! Um, tamper not perfect, y'all. Okay, one, two. cake mix, pour it over, I'm going to save a little bit from both to use in the cast iron. Is that one getting bubbly? Pay attention Katie. Is there, there's butter wrapper, awesome. Okay. Off for that one too. I'm going to use the rest of the 
pineapples from this can and this one. Let's see where, let's see how many I can get in here. Shall we? I'm guessing nine. Come on, be honest. So, a hot, ouch. I got spit on with a hot butter. So far you could do this, couldn't you? Come on. That's not right. I don't know why this place my hands when I have to get If I had thought about it ahead of time, I would have just drained it. But no, I need to be like this in front of y'all. It's fine. Again, hammered, not perfect. That's bubbling nicely. Gonna turn that off. Because cast iron conducts heat really well. Getting my hands dirty again because I didn't pay attention. Here we go, here we go. Can you see how this gets all of the cake out? Sometimes I watch the um, cooking shows and they never get all of the, the cake batter out. And I was like, man, I am gonna send you some Pampered Chef scrapers. Spread that around. I was supposed to save some of that for this. Let's see if I can fill it with what's left. You know what? Honestly, if I can do this, anyone can do this. You've seen me make like already. Okay, I am actually going to scoop a little bit of this up and share it over here. Okay, 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 okay. Pants. I'm going to put the rock rock in the microwave. I'm going to put, where's my baby sharks? Baby sharks. That's going to go in the microwave. This is, where's my racks? I'm just going to put one rack in. I only need one for my, it's because I'm on video, isn't it? I pushed the wrong thing. All right, here we go. Now I'm going to scoot this over. I can show you how to get the handle on this bad boy so I can get it in the oven. Take your handle, little button in, slide it all back, go at an angle. You know what? There's a video for this too. Go ahead, stick it in your oven, take the handle off, and this is going to bake for 20 minutes. Uh, 20, Maybe, I'm going to check it at 30 minutes, sorry about that. Um, this is going to go in the microwave for 11 minutes, and I will be back when they're all done. Okay, obviously, I lost track of time, and our rock crop, I mean, sorry, our, um, what is the word, cast iron, uh, dessert, Got a wee bit done. Pampered 
not perfect again. Okay, so let's flip this around. And maybe I should have. That's kind of. That's kind of warm, y'all. That's kind of warm. But it worked. Look how beautiful that is. Okay, we've got one. Let's do the rock crop one. I'm going to grab my pizza peel for this. Put that over there. Put my oven mitt on. Make sure I've got the, uh, the handles underneath. And flip. is not in the center. Do I care? Nope. And that's beautiful. Okay, so one ring stayed in the pan. Easily fixable. Fixed. Cake number two done. And I mean, we've got like 10 minutes left on the cake in the mic or in the oven. But let's see if it's done anyway. I got this out so I can test it. In the middle. It's clean. Oven off. Where are we going to put this on? Let's get the cutting board. Man, that's going to be heavy. Heavy for me to flip. I need another, uh, I need another pizza peel, y'all. Um, can I pull off? I already did that. All right, here we go. Oven mitts on. Actually, what am I talking about? Hello? I got this, and I've got this to put on the other side. All right. Handle on. This on. All right, are you ready? Count down. Five, four, three, two, one, and flip. Okay. Just wow. Just wow. Okay, so this is off center. Do I care? No. So here's my only problem, my friends. What am I going to do with three cakes? 